Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Max and I would like to go ahead and share with you just a quick review video of the Wee G Pistol um, Extended Magazine. Probably worded that weird, but anyway, this is going to be the extended mag for the Wee Glock pistols. And I will go ahead and talk about, you know, exactly what to expect when you buy this thing, which Glock variants it's going to really fit to, and just little things in between, like quantity, gas consumption, and so on. So we'll get right into this, guys. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I have the extended magazine, and then I just have a standard magazine for the Wee pistols. And it just really shows the, the sheer length of this thing. You know, if it's something you're not used to, it's going to be an adjustment, but it's going to be an awesome adjustment because it's something you'll fall in love with every time you use it. And with this extended mag, the perk of it is it can fit in any Glock replica pistol that you have that's Wii Tech and KJW as well. So when I say every every G pistol, I'm essentially meaning the 17, 18 C, 19, 23, 26, then there is the 34 and 35, then the 33 and the 33 advanced. I mean, it can it can fit in those without any problem, and that's the best part about it. So essentially, whatever Glock you have, this is going to be you know the greatest thing you could really do as a first upgrade. You know, if especially if you're going to be on the field, you're a pistol person. Especially if you have two of these, two like full auto Glocks and two extended magazines. I mean. Whoever's on the other side, it's over for them. They're going to be just running for the hills. You know, that's that's the best thing about it. When we talk about capacity, the typical Wii G17 magazine, which I have here, this is going to hold roughly about 24 to 25 rounds. Um, it is double stack, and this is currently just the regular green gas magazine. They do have the CO2 magazines available, although I would not recommend it unless you've upgraded your nozzle because the pressure from the CO2 can destroy the nozzle over time. It's definitely possible. The gas is under a lot more pressure than, you know, than regular green gas. Um, same goes for this bad boy here. It's going to be a green gas only. I've not heard of it being CO2, except that would be flipping awesome if they did do this for the uh, colder weather uh, air softers. You know, also double stack, except it's going to be right around 50 or so rounds. So literally double the uh, regular magazine that you're going to get. It's definitely useful. It's, again, an essential upgrade for the first upgrade, at least, especially if you're going to be running pistols a lot. It's definitely something to recommend, especially in a full auto Glock like I have here, the Glock 18C by Wee Tech. This is definitely something I would recommend you would get this magazine for. Uh, I've had it for a few years now, and honestly, there has not been any issues at all. The gas consumption on it is great. I can probably get a mag and a half, maybe two mags of this um, if it's hot enough. You know, whereas for this, you can probably get two mags out of it, maybe one and a half. And that still can be anywhere from 40 to 50 BBs, whereas this can be anywhere from 50 to maybe 80 BBs you can get out of it in just one refill. So, again, it's a, it's a big number. It's a big difference. And um, as you can see, the base plate, it is a little different. Um, this is a custom base plate that I've bought from eHobby Asia. So, unfortunately, you're not going to get this particular piece when you do buy this magazine. You're going to essentially get it with like a flat uh, mag base like this, which... In my opinion, it looks kind of ugly. It does not really fit the cosmetics of the extended mag. You know, you need some kind of, you know, a meaty bottom on this thing. And this one actually is from a Stark Arms Glock. Um, pretty much just the mag base, really. I didn't have a magazine or anything I pulled it off of. I just bought the actual mag base. Um, but again, it makes it look that much cooler. If I put it in my Glock 18, here's kind of what, you're be, what you'll be looking at. So again, much more intimidating of a pistol. It's it's really just awesome. And you, you can even see too, it's got a nice finish to it. You can see it's a glossy finish. And, you know, it's nice and shiny. looks cool. Um, it's it's kind of worn in a little bit. You know, I've had this thing for a while. I even inde um, indented the numbers with the, the white crayon. Um, I do have the white crayon tutorial on my channel with how to fill in, like, trademarks and little engravings on your pistol. Excuse me, sorry. Um, so that's something you can do if you choose to. Um, I purchased this off of Evike, um, again, a few years back, and I think I paid like 40 or so dollars for it. And, you know, they still have it on their website. 
So if you're looking for something to just get it shipped real quick, uh, definitely check out their website. But for the most part, guys, that's all I had for you for you for today for this um, just small review. It's more of a pistol accessory. Um, let me know what you guys think. You know, leave me a comment, share the video. If you have really some in-depth questions, let me know. I love answering them. Um, you can even leave me a message if you choose to, whatever is easier for you. If you're a huge fan of Glocks like myself, definitely check out that Glock playlist um, that's on my channel. Anything that I've ever made about Glocks is going to be in that playlist, and there's tons of videos, so tons of just, just eye candy. I can't really say anything else, really. So, again, thanks so much for watching, guys. You guys have a good one.